the World Aerobatic Championships are held every two years. And obviously the aim is to find the best aerobatic pilot in the world. It takes about 10 days of flying to do that. And once in a generation, I guess, it's, it's held in the UK. The last time was in 1986. In 2009, in August, it's at Silverstone. It's held for a historic wartime airfield as well as a motor racing circuit. And we'll have the best pilots in the world flying the most advanced aerobatic airplanes right there in the air above the racing track on the south side of Silverstone. And everyone can come and watch. We've done quite a lot of training already this year, three or four camps, and uh, so far so good. There's been a lot of improvement in, in everybody, a huge amount early on, not many people fly that hard over the winter months, and then in the latter stages it's, it's really fine tuning. The training camps are going really well, it's, uh, it's very intense, it's the, it's the most training camps I've ever known for a British team. And as the weather gets better and our flying improves, then it's actually becoming more intense and we're all getting more out of it. And of course, uh, Eric being an ex-world champion works us hard every day and every night over dinner. I think we've got the strongest team we've ever had, uh, in, in my memory anyway. And I think that, we've, that we're getting more assistance from the British Aerobatic Foundation, which is wonderful. It's a good team. Obviously it's a competitive sport and anybody that makes it to the top of this type of sport are, are individuals and competitive individuals. So there's always some um, rivalry, let's say, but which is healthy, some camaraderie, but overall it's good fun and, and there's good spirits in the team, which is always encouraging. Team spirit is absolutely great, good camaraderie. We've known each other for a number of years now and we meet around the air show circuit and competitions every few months. High level aerobatics, um, traditionally the Russians have been the best pilots and the French um, not far behind them. As you know our trainer is a, a French ex-world champion so we've got a good guy helping us here. You can never really tell with the Americans, they have a huge number of good pilots and a lot of funding. Uh, we, we think we stand a pretty good chance this year, we've got a little bit of depth in our team so we're, we're feeling pretty good about it. I think you know we've got a chance of, of doing well, of, of getting into the medals. Um, there's been a sort of steady progression over the last five or six years in the British team's performance at unlimited level. So no, we're well placed to do well, I think.